Hi, this is Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. Today I want to share a tip for those in direct sales and it's tied directly to marketing. There's an amazing program out there called PicMonkey that's going to allow you to add great graphics and text to information and flyers that you get from your company, flyers that you may put together, and of course if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you have My Digital Studio available to create great Facebook timelines and other things like that. This is going to give you um, another tool to use alongside My Digital Studio. So let's take a look at this free program. As with all free programs, there's also components that you can purchase if you want, but I'm finding that the free part of PicMonkey has plenty of bells and whistles to meet the needs that I have. There are two basic components that I use all of the time. One is edit a photo, which is just simply adding information to a single photo and then creating a collage. And um, let's start first with edit a photo. And let me just pull a photo that I have here. Uh, let's just start with this one. We'll just pull it up onto the screen. And once you have a photo to work with, I either use my um, graphics that are provided by my company or I look for copyright free graphics that are out there on the internet that I can then go ahead and work with, such as this one that said sale, don't think, just buy. And I wanted to add my own information to the top up here. Once you have a photo, you have a lot of basic photo editing properties right here within PicMonkey. You don't need to open it first in Adobe or in some other um, form. One of the things I like about PicMonkey is I can do a lot in one place. And so your basic photo editing, you can of course crop, you can um, change the canvas color if you want to. You can rotate your picture. You can play with the exposure colors. You can sharp, sharpen um, the edges, make it a little bit more crisp. And one of the features that you may end up using the most is resizing. If you're trying to create something very specific to your Facebook timeline, if you're trying to create graphics that you might want to upload to Vista Print, or maybe um, you're trying to create graphics for Instagram, Pinterest, or anything like that, and you know the exact pixels that you want something to be, you can go ahead and right here where it says change size, you can enter the size that you want it to be, and then you'll know that you have the appropriate size image for the social media venue that you want to use. So again, some great basic photo editing. Um, something fun that's also here, you've got different kinds of effects and things like that. These aren't features that I use. For the most part, I may crop and I may sharpen something, but that's about it. Another thing that's here, this one always makes me smile and laugh. Maybe you're trying to create an absolutely wonderful photo for your Facebook timeline. I'm a big believer that it's your personal picture that should be on your Facebook timeline, that should be um, on your blog and things like that, because as a as an individual in direct sales, people are doing business with you and building a relationship with you. So maybe you're trying to build this perfect picture. And here you've got all the wonderful airbrushing tools that you could ever want. You can whiten your teeth. You can tint your lips. You can brighten your eyes. You can do a little spray on tan. You can just have a whole lot of fun. Nip and tuck. I need to learn to use that one. Weight loss. Just all kinds of things that are there. Um, for you to play with. I have yet to utilize these, but they are definitely um, something that I might want to experiment with just to have some fun. The one that I do use a lot is text. Text is very simple to use. You're going to click on add text and it will bring a text box over to your surface. You can stretch the box left to right. Up here on the top, you can rotate that text and we'll just rotate it back to where we were. And then you're going to go ahead and you can just click and start typing www. And if you want, you know, keep going. I'm trying to type in a bunch here so I can just give you a couple ideas. Now you've got it here and once you've got this you can highlight it. You can come over here and you can pick the different text that you want to work with. You can go ahead over here on the slide bar where it says size and you can adjust the size. As you go beyond the box you can see that it stretched my box as I went larger than what it was. You can also make it bold, italic. You can um, change the justification from right to left or you can center it. The other thing that you can also do is you can change the color of it. So you can work with your color. And then one last thing that you can do, and this is one thing 
that um, specifically maybe some of you um, that are Stampin' Up! demonstrators or consultants for other companies that generate artwork or maybe even you just want to make sure that this flyer um, is your own. You want to go ahead and add a watermark to it and you can always use the fade button and what that will do is that will just um, add a graphic to the back of it. I use this one a lot um, with the fade by putting a large created at an angle for the things that I sell in my Etsy store. So that's how I do that. I just very simply add my website here. I just fade it to the background and then the images that I have posted um, have that light watermark on them in my Etsy store. So text is another great one that you will find yourself using. Here the butterfly, these are basically overlays or shapes that you can go ahead and you can add. The ones that I use a lot, I use the stars a lot. Specifically I use the ones that um, look like ones that you're used to seeing on sale flyers and graphics and so I just add those and then I can just go ahead and I can add my text over top of that. I can just add text and type and make sure that I size it to fit over top so I do use the stars a lot. Um, another thing that I use a lot are I use arrows. So I use arrows here. Oops, no, sorry about that. I do use arrows a lot and I play with them and just like you did with the text you can change the color, you can fade them, um, you can also use this tool to rotate them and point them in different directions. Another one that I use, especially when I'm creating fun pictures um, with my boys, Tegan Marburg, is I use the comic bu um, bubbles so that I can put words as if my dogs are speaking. Um, I think they talk, um, but that's just me being a crazy pet owner. Another feature that I do use a lot is I also use the frame feature to make my ads and my images pop. Specifically, I use the um, simple edge a lot, and here you can change the color of that edge. You can also change the thickness of that edge, and that's just something else to make your picture or your image pop when you're putting it on Pinterest, when you're putting it on your Facebook page, or when you're putting it on your blog. So that's just something for you. Of course, you can round the corner and captions. And a lot of learning any program is simply just clicking on everything and playing with the various icons and things that you see in the various um buttons that are available. We're going to cancel that. And of course again just more options for you. Discard. You can play photo corners. So again within the frame feature I use those a lot. I have not played, I'll be very honest with textures, I haven't um, found the need to add textures and um, this is just something new that they just added with seasonal graphics, different themes and things like that. So once you've got it all completed the way that you want it to be you just come up here and click Save and you can save it to your computer and then you'll have it available to add wherever you would like it to be. The other thing that you can do is you can share direct from here to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Flickr, Tumblr. You can also send it via email. So that's another nice feature of PicMonkey is that you can go ahead and do that. So now let's take a look at another feature that I use frequently and that is the collage feature. I use this to create longer images that have um, that infographic look to them so that they get noticed on Pinterest. And what you're going to need is you're going to need photos and let me open a couple of photos. This is one that I'm going to start working on trying to pick my top 10 favorite things that are on sale currently with Stampin' Up! So let me just pick, well I'll just pick a whole bunch because I don't know yet which ones. And so you would just load your photos and then from here you want to come here where you see the three little geometric shapes and these are the different layouts that you have. Ducks in a row, these are basically long and this is the one that I use frequently and I can go ahead and let's just come back here. One of the things that I like to do is I can put one here, I can put one here and then here in the middle I just simply go ahead and I add text or graphics. My favorite two sale items this week or whatever and then you know shop at and your blog address or web address or anything like that. So I do use this one frequently. Another one that is here is cards. Square deal. This one's great for blogs when you have a whole lot of little ones. The thing to note is when I hover over them you'll notice there's a little X. You don't have to use every square. If I X out you can see now that I'm getting some interesting shapes and so I can kind of alter the layout a little bit by doing something just like that. In addition you can add squares in and the way that you would do that is let's come back up here under photos. Normally when I would drag a photo over I would hover over the square till it turns gray and then I would release my image and it would pop into that square. If I want to create a new square what I'm going to do is grab my image, drag it over and I'm going to drop it between the squares and it will create a square for me by dropping it in between the squares. So some other options here for you biggies and smalls. You've got one big one and then a whole bunch of little ones. Great layouts there. Elegant. 
Facebook cover. This one's designed specifically for Facebook timelines. So when you're trying to get your product on your Facebook timeline, this is an absolutely great one to use. This one, Pinteresty, is used um, and is great, and it's designed with Pinterest and Etsy in mind. So again, you can do some great collages of your product for Pinterest and Etsy. Tile, and then I, Jigsaw is just a whole bunch of variety, different sizes and things like that. So again, this is one that I use, and specifically, I've also started then using one of the blank squares as a place to add text. And the way that you're going to do that is once you have all of the photos the way that you want them to be, you're going to come up here and you're going to click on Edit. And it will say open an editor and you'll say yes. And now you're going to come back to the same editor that you saw when you were doing a single photo. And you can come in and you can crop. You can do some touch-ups. Now you can come back in and add arrows if you want to draw attention to one of the specific photos that are in your collage. And, of course, now you can come in and you can add text and um, work with text where you want text to be on this graphic image that you have. And then once again, once it's all finished and done, you just come up here and click Save. You're going to save it to your computer, or you're going to share directly from PicMonkey to the source that you want to share it to. So that's just there for you. So PicMonkey is going to be an invaluable tool for you as you start to really work on growing your business in social media and trying to make your graphics and your images stand out among all of the others out there. And the great part is, is that it's free. So it has a huge return on your investment. So have fun playing with PicMonkey, and thanks for stopping by. Take care, and God bless.